Jalen Hurts had six different cards in his college football career and today I'll be using every single one. Every time I complete a challenge with Jalen Hurts, I'll get to upgrade his card to the next version, but the types of challenges I'll have to complete will get harder and harder each time. On top of this, while I'm trying to upgrade Jalen Hurts, I have to win a national championship with him playing for Auburn, and this is going to be good because he has the chance to get revenge on the team that wouldn't stick with him. But anyways, for the first upgrade, all I have to do is score three rushing touchdowns with freshman year Jalen Hurts and we also have to win these games remember that and on our first drive I might need to throw this in come on Jalen Hurts please be fast enough get the first rushing touchdown there we go bite on the read option come on Jalen Hurts please be fast enough that's a touchdown one more chance or we can't upgrade him until next week scramble around get in there truck him and he stops short, he loses the ball. It's all right, we'll upgrade him in the next game. The important part is we got the win. If I'm struggling on this first challenge, it's gonna be super hard by the end of the video, but there we go, Jalen Hurts gets his third rushing touchdown, and now I can upgrade him to his next card, which has a little bit better throwing stats, which will be important because his next challenge is to throw five touchdowns, and he got his first one right there. This one shouldn't be too bad, but it might take a couple of games. But the important part is we stay winning so I can make a national championship with him. This could be the third. Come on, you gotta hold on to that, man. Here we go, one last chance to get another passing touchdown before the end of the game, and Jalen Hurts delivers a dot that is dropped again. And maybe I didn't realize how hard of a challenge this potentially could be. Come on, Jalen Hurts, there we go. That's a third touchdown, and we also picked up another win. All I have to do is get two more passing touchdowns to upgrade the card, and rest in peace to Mike Leach, but we're gonna have to beat Mississippi State. What a legend he was. Hopefully his legacy lives on, but not today. We need touchdowns, and I think this could be the fifth one right here. There there we go five touchdowns Jalen Hurts is now getting upgraded and his 82 overall team of the week is looking sick it was time to start the third challenge four 30 yard plus passing touchdowns and I'm not sure how I'm going to do this one remember I also need to win as much as we can so we can make a national championship I think at this point I need to strictly go for just getting us in the game but this could be a 30 yard touchdown why did he cut like that i can tell three 30 plus yard touchdowns are going to be very hard to come by this could be the one if it wasn't an overthrow we're already past the 30 yard line so this one won't even count even if it is a touchdown that is a dot but we need to be throwing for longer touchdowns and this looks like it could be our best chance to get a 30 yard touchdown here come on deliver a dot get in the end zone there we go oh my gosh this is a chance to get another one please don't be an overthrow You've got to be kidding me. This is the exact reason why I need to keep upgrading Jalen Hurts. He is not good enough to win a championship right now, though this could be the play. This could be the play. Come on, get into the end zone. Fight, fight. There we go. Two down, two more to go. I just sat back in the pocket, saw the wide open receiver, and picked up the third 30 plus yard passing touchdown. If Jalen Hurts just had a stronger arm, this challenge would be over already, though he could end it right here. That's a dot. There we go. All right. We finally have gotten his 88 overall card. It looks absolutely insane. You're probably wondering what's the next challenge and it's winning a game while throwing four interceptions. We are not going to attempt the challenge in this game. We're just going to try to get out of here with a win unless we somehow go up by like a ton of points because we still need to make the college football playoffs and we can't lose this game. And boys, we are on top of the SEC. We've pretty much locked up the division as long as we don't lose two games, but three of our last four matchups are top 10 teams so this is going to be very difficult i almost feel like we need to go for wins in these next two games because throwing four interceptions and winning against a top 10 team is going to be almost impossible nobody on this field can catch and that does not go well for this being a challenge there's our first interception i didn't even mean to throw that one honestly but our defense got a turnover right back so we're back on the field let's get a touchdown here take a lead we're gonna have one interception going into the oh there's number two that was really bad. That was really bad. Don't be a pick six. Come on, someone take him down. There we go. We've thrown two already, and we're not out of the game yet. We just have to pray our defense gets a stop. Oh, he's wide open. Come on, guys. Hold them to three here. Oh, that's definitely a touchdown. I went with the option here. Johnson, be fast. Johnson, be fast. Okay, it's going to be 10 to 7. We are back in this game. Throw an interception right there. There we go. There we go. He caught that. Hopefully, it didn't hit the ground. Make a tackle. Defense needs to get a stop. All right, come on. Hold them to three here. Hold them to three. That's short. There we go. Now we're only one interception away from completing the challenge, but we also still need to win. So that made this touchdown extremely important. If our defense can get a stop here, I have a chance to throw an interception and win this game. There we go. All right, boys, it is happening. I'm just going to throw it up. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Please don't be a dot. I needed them to pick that off. Okay, I'm going to take it into the end zone, get a nice lead. 
that will help us a lot. And to really make sure we're safe, I'm going to go for the two-point conversion here. Come on, Jalen Hurts. Scramble. Get in the end zone. Okay, fourth and goal here. We just need to get a stop. Don't let him score. Time to throw some interceptions. I never knew it would be so hard to throw an interception. I'm going to float this ball up. I'm going to move my player away. They held on to it. There we go. I'm excited about an interception. It's a weird time to be alive, but we've completed the challenge. And now we've acquired 93 overall Jalen Hurts. And I was ready for the final challenge. 375 yard touchdowns and scoring three 75 yard touchdowns was going to be extremely difficult to do especially on Georgia so I was kind of expecting us to just get a win today not worry about the challenge and that's exactly what we were able to do with this touchdown play and against Old Dominion I was hoping we'd have a chance to get a couple of those 75 yard touchdowns against them look at this that should easily be one of them Moore has got to outrun him no Coy Moore had the cornerback cooked but he couldn't finish off the play that's what makes these 75 yarders so difficult is anyone open deep? I think X might be. Okay, this could be a 75 yarder. Make a man miss. Keep going. Keep going. Be fast enough. Oh, look at that. One 75 yard touchdown is done. And I feel like if we're ever going to complete the challenge, we're going to have to get another one today. Jalen Hurts, hit him in stride. Come on, be fast enough. What a way to end the half. But it was time for the Iron Bowl. Jalen Hurts was ready to show Nick Saban that he was that guy delivering dots. With 10 seconds left, he faked everyone out and he got into the end zone. That was huge. I thought we might actually lose this game for a second, but Jalen Hurts got the win he needed. And in the SEC championship, I only had one goal and that was get 99 overall Jalen Hurts because I didn't care if we won or not. Our spot in the college football playoffs was already pretty much locked up. So all we needed to do was get a 75 yard touchdown. So I made some adjustments and put the fastest guys on the outside. And I was hoping that would be the difference maker. I lofted up a beautiful ball. Johnson got it. And we're finally going to finish the challenge. Challenge 375 yard touchdowns complete. So I finally got to upgrade to 99 overall Jalen Hurts. And even though we lost the SEC championship, I was ready to take on the college football playoffs with the best quarterback in the game. The final challenge was to win a championship with Jalen Hurts at Auburn. And even though we trailed by three with three minutes left in the game, that wasn't a problem though, because with 30 seconds left, he let us down the field and then he took off and he scrambled in for the game winner. That was a huge play. And it was time to face undefeated Michigan State in the national championship. Our defense has come up clutch. All we have to do is get in field goal range, kick a field goal, win a national championship, but Jalen Hurts is going for the glory. What a challenge video this was. I can't believe I'm going to complete everything, but it feels good to win a national championship with Auburn. And hopefully you all enjoyed me using all six of these Jalen Hurts cards. If you did and you want to support the channel while attempting to predict player stat lines like this, Code Bordeaux will double your initial deposit on Underdog and that'll give you some free cash to play around with. So if you live in one of the yellow states, you might as well check it out.